Hi everyone, there is always a need for a spicy snack mix, don't you think? A lot of people call it Chex Mix because it's made with Chex Mix, but you can make it with any type of um, cereal that looks like this. Um, I am using it from Aldi, so they don't call it Chex, but you know, it looks like this. Spicy, or excuse me, like rice squares cereal. <laughs> anyway, today I'm making it gluten-free. So if you have traditional recipes that you love, use those. But if you're looking for some gluten-free options, this is a really easy mix to adapt. So I'm using all rice checks today. And you know, one of the things that I love about this recipe is if you have a box of rice check type of cereal and you know, it's getting a little stale, it's perfect to use in this because it's going to bake and get crispy again. We need a cup of almonds. I'm using unsalted whole almonds. I suppose you can use different nuts if that's what you want. Um, you're gonna use some uh, pretzels. Again, easy to get gluten-free if that's what you prefer. And let's see, oh, crackers. So usually people put like cheese nips in there. I'm doing the cauliflower crackers to keep it gluten-free. Uh, found these at Aldi if you have one of those near you. Um, I don't even measure, I just throw in the whole bag. Perfect. So um, this is gonna have a little bit of a spicy kick. I know there's lots of versions. Some people make it sweet. Mike and I love the little bit of heat that you can get in this. So go ahead and mix up your dry ingredients and then I'll show you how to get the yummy buttery flavors um, put together. So you're gonna take six tablespoons of butter. I've got it melted in my silicone prep bowl. I love these because they go in the microwave and they've got a pour spout. So it makes it really easy to do everything right in here. So then to this, we're gonna add a tablespoon of brown sugar. And um, if you haven't seen this before, these little discs, brown sugar keepers, they come in a set of two. You just soak them in water for like 20 minutes, blot them dry, and then drop it in your brown sugar, and they'll keep your sugar soft for a long time. So you get a set of two, so that means you get one, and then you can give one to your sister or your friend. Um, one tablespoon of the brown sugar, and then a tablespoon of your favorite hot sauce. This is optional, but I always use it because I like that little bit of spicy sweet heat and you can use whatever kind you like. So a full tablespoon is just right. I'm just following the recipe. I'm not making any alterations. So if you like it spicier, you can always add more. And then we're gonna add garlic powder, onion powder, and Worcestershire sauce. Let me get my lid on here. So we need a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. So these adjustable spoons, by the way, they come in a set of two and they go from an eighth of a teaspoon on the smaller one up to a full tablespoon on the other. So half a teaspoon each of onion powder and garlic powder. Be sure you're not using onion salt and garlic salt. It'll make it really, really salty. You don't want that. And then a teaspoon, always give us a shake of Worcestershire sauce. That's always fun to say. So just slide it back and we'll mix this all up together. Okay, I'm using my little mini whipper. Give it a mix. You can buy, you know, Chex Mix in a bag. I don't know about you guys, it doesn't taste as good as the stuff you make homemade. So take some time, make a batch. Everybody will love it and it's good any time of year. All right, that's all there is to it. Give a drizzle, and then it only takes about 45 minutes in the oven. So your oven is gonna be preheated at 250 degrees. You'll stir it about every 15 minutes. And when it cools, your nuts will crisp up and everything will get crispy. So we've got it all combined. You want that buttery, spicy flavor to coat everything. Okay, Gracie. Okay, so here we go. This is the large, or excuse me, the half sheet pan. The large sheet pan is actually smaller than the half sheet pan. I love this because it gets everything spread out really nicely so that it can crisp up. So we'll just spread it all up. Oop. Gracie, that was your snack. <laughs> All right, there we go. So I'll pop it in the oven, 45 minutes. Say hi to everybody, Gracie. Look, say hi.
Gracie says happy holidays. <laughs> so I'll pop this in the oven 45 minutes, a stir every 15 seconds, and once it's cool, I'll store it in a freezer Ziploc bag, or you can put it in airtight containers, and it will last uh, for snacking for quite a while. So I hope you'll enjoy it. I'll post the recipe in the comments so you can try it out for yourself. I think you'll love this little bit of heat and sweet with all the crunchy goodness in the spicy snack mix. Thanks for joining me.